hello you're welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to share with you on how to make this kitchen pleated white garment cap both for the cns and the celestia so the first thing to do is to fold your fabric into four like this you're going to be folding your fabric into four and then for this cap i made use of um, a yard though my fabric was left so for the wideness of the cap i used 11 inches but if you want your cap to be wider than mine, then you can go on to increase the measurement. Okay, so mark out your measurement just exactly like this, as you see that I'm doing, and then cut this out. So this is what you're going to have. Please always remember to notch the center point of your cap. So the next thing we're going to do is to cut out the interfacing for the cap. I use, this is BFF, I use this just for the sake of the tutorial. I advise for you to use a stronger interfacing like steves or hard stay so that your cap can stand and can stay very well okay so you fold your interfacing into four just like this and then you place your cap that you cut initially you place it on it and then you cut it out exactly the same way you cut the cap so please always remember to notch, also notch the focal point of your interfacing like this. Then after you're done with that, you now you know that this cap has 16 pleats all together. So to achieve that, you're going to fold your cap once more like this, notch at the center point, then fold again, and then notch at the center point. So that when you open it like this, you should have like five notches there okay so now you're going to open up this cap and then that lines that you have there from the folding that those four lines you're going to use a chalk or a pencil to mark those lines just a little of it you're going to be needing these in future while sewing this cap okay so use it mark those points both on the front and at the, at the back of this material okay now we're going to place our interfacing on this cap so we're going to be placing the interfacing on this cap and then you don't forget to cut a lining to cover up for the interfacing that is if you don't want your interfacing to show you can as well cut a lining and then cover it up so we, we are using our safety pins to stitch it down and then you use your iron to iron this so that the interfacing can come on the cap then you go back to your sewing machine and stitch that down so now we're moving on to cutting of the band of this cap to cut the band we're going to need our round head measurement and this is how to measure your rounded measurement including your head for me mine is 22 dividing that by two i have 11 inches one is sewing allowance and one inch for freeness or ease so this is on fold i'm cutting this band on fold and the length of the band is six inches because I want the length of my band to be two and a half inches when I'm done sewing. So that is why I cut out six inches. So mark out the midpoint and then come in by half inch on that midpoint. On top, come in by one inch and then below by one inch and then join this together. So you sew, get your sewing machine and you're going to stitch this down. Why I like doing this like this is because it eliminates that pleating that is always happening at the band of the cap. Okay. When you do it like this you're going to eliminate that pleating you have so remember to notch the the center point of your band also as you see that i'm doing in the video notch the center points for both sides okay so this is what i have i've gone back to the sewing machine to stitch this down and this is what i have okay so now the next thing so the next thing to do now is to pleat our cap so those marks i told you to put Hey, we're going to be needing it now so we're going to be uh, pleating this cap and i want to i want you to watch me how i do this so that you can get how to pleat this cap very very well okay you can see now we're going to the next one from one notch to another notch okay we are following it that way so we, we've done that notch So the next one is from that notch to the other notch so we're going to be going from one notched part to another notched um point okay from one notched point to another notched point and we're going to pleat 
that you can see the way i am pleating this so that is how we are going to do that if you want to um secure it down with the paint first before taking it to the sewing machine you can go on to do that and if you want to do this directly with your sewing machine you can also do that okay so now i have done that with my sewing machine and this is what i have so you can see that those four points that i marked initially they are showing all right so now we are going to be needing this while attaching this cap to the band so all together we have the 16 pleats all together if you count it you can you see that we have 16 pleats on the cap all together so now the next thing we're going to do we're going to be attaching those four points that i marked with the four points that i notched on the band so we are starting from the you can start from the back you can start from the front of the band which wherever you want to start from so now for this tutorial i am starting from the back this is the back here and i'm going to pin down the back and one of the uh, marked points on the cap as you can see that i'm doing in the video and i'm just going to use my pin to secure that down i'm going to be doing that for the four points or the four marks that i have on the cap i'm going to be i'm going to be securing it down with the pins with together with the four notches i have on the band so if you do it like this it's going to be much more easier for you and it's going to give you a perfect finishing and also it's going to make it very easy for you to make this cap it's going to avoid you losing it or making mistakes okay so this is how i connected the four points on the cap with the four with the four notches on the band so you can see what we have so the next thing is just for you to go to your sewing machine and stitch this down you're going to give it a round stitch and you're going to stitch that down okay so when you're done stitching on your sewing machine you are just going to so when you're done stitching on the sewing machine you're going to take the band fold it into half like half just fold it by half of an inch like this okay and then place it on it you can see the mark place that notched part of the band on the marked on the marked area on the cap can you see it's going to make your work very easy and neat and it's also going to make it very easy for you so just fold in by half of an inch and start placing on the band like this okay make sure that the notched part of the band is staying directly on the marked part of the cap so you can see this is what i have now i'm going to be sharing with you a secret to avoid having pleats on your band okay so i'm showing this already and now i can see that the marked part on my cap and the, this um, part on my band they are not going they are not aligning together i'm just going to uh, make me to give a pleat on the band so and i want to avoid that i don't want to have, i don't want my band to have a pleat so i'm just going to go to my sewing machine and i'm going to come in a little depending on how much the difference is maybe by a quarter of an inch or by half of an inch depending on how much the difference is so you do that and then you sew your cap around i hope you get what i've just tried to explain okay so now i'm done sewing and this is what i have I've, i have attached my band to my cap and this is what i have this is how smooth and beautiful it's looking you can see there is no pleating whatsoever on my band is smooth and is the same and is equal as the cap the band and the cap are both equal no pleating okay now the next thing i'm going to do is to put the elastic the one inch elastic band at the back of the cap which is going to secure the cap on my head okay so for this elastic band i cut four inches of this one inch elastic band and i'm going to be doing it like this to place on my cap so fold both ends of that elastic band like that like just half of an inch and then you're going to place it at the midpoint of your cap like you can see that i'm doing in the video so you can do this directly on your sewing machine but i'm going to be showing you this by securing it down with my pins to tell you how you're going to do it 
yourself on your sewing machine okay so now you place that like you place it on the midpoint like that and stretch it forward again so that you can have it on both sides of the cap so now you now go to your sewing machine and you sew it while stretching the elastic band like this okay you sew it on your sewing machine while stretching the elastic band so this is what we have this is what is going to give you you can see how beautiful it is and if you want to sew this elastic band inside of the band you can also do that it's the same way to do it okay and if you want to sew, um, put it outside of the cap the way you see that i did it it's totally fine whichever way you want to do it it's fine it's going to give you a beautiful and a perfect outlook okay so you can see how our cap is looking it's looking so beautiful so gorgeous all our pleats are fully formed our band is beautiful the elastic band is beautiful so this is how the cap is going to be all right so if you have put your heart stay in yours please you can feel free to share with me after you're done recreating this i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you found it helpful in my previous video i shared on how to make a white garment veil which they call ibori so if you're interested in that you can also go to my previous video and check this out I'll